Hey guys, it's Rainy Rodriguez, and you're watching Shine All Media. What up? Season two ended on cliffhanger that made people cry. That's what the tweets told me. <laughs> so, I don't cry. <laughs> um, so, how did you feel with that rea fan reaction? Um, it was great. Um, it was. It's sort of been building up to it, you know, with Austin Alley relationship and like, you know, will he go on tour? Will he not go on tour? Will Ali go with him? What's she gonna do? Um, I think it ended pretty nicely. It gives everybody, you know, like an anticipation for the third season, which is awesome. Um, it's great. We, I know that filming it, we were like, oh my gosh, the kids are gonna freak out when they see this. So, which is great. And you know, the whole like Austin's note to Ali. Yeah, we didn't know what was in it when we were filming the finale, and we learned like the first or second episode of season three what was in the note so we had to spend a good like six or seven months not knowing what the note said or was or what was it about and at least the kids don't have to wait that long they have to wait like three weeks and then they can see it so we do find out you will find out yes and it'll be good okay. what is coming up with trish because in that last episode obviously there's some tensions because it's oh she's not doing a good job but she is doing a good yes, job but she's yes. not so what's going on with trish well, I feel like what's great about it is that, you know, even though she is both their managers, at the end of the day, she's still their friends. So she can still hang out with them and talk to them. Her being on tour, she's really obviously going to miss, you know, Allie being back home. And I'm sure she's going crazy with the boys on tour because she just doesn't know how to handle both of them in a confined space at the same time. Um, so we see the friendships between all of them, you know, when we uh, reunite and see each other and things like that. And she definitely misses Allie, that's for sure, misses her best friend. And uh, she has a lot of adventures, you know. Um, she does new things, meets new people, lots of new things that we learn later in the season come from the tour, so it'll be fun. Love interest for Trish? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. You'll have to watch and find out. But, 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 uh, you gotta watch and find out. It's, it'll be good though. It'll be good. Who knows? Love interests, new jobs, semi-permanent jobs, new things. Who knows what's going to happen to Trish? That girl, Out of job. That girl is everywhere. Let's be honest. Who? I can't even keep up with her sometimes. It's true. Very, very true. I, it's very hard. So obviously the music keeps getting better every season. Yes. What can you tease about the music we're going to hear? Well, honestly, you know, well, first of all, they're, it's awesome and fun and really energetic. We got some acoustic songs, which is nice, some beachy vibes, which is great, concert songs awesome performances. Ross just filmed this awesome performance, sort of like a Michael Jackson themed inspired, and it was so cool. I just wish I could be as talented as Ross Lynch sometimes, because he's so talented. Um, and then, you know what? Maybe Trish gets to sing. I don't know. Inklings of her singing. I think she needs her own song. We've heard inklings of her singing, and um, one of my favorite episodes in season three um, obviously will be aired on television, and she does a lot of fun things in an episode, and one of them could pertain to singing. I don't know. Or Shush goes off and gets exactly. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? Wouldn't that be something? They become the pop stars and now we're all the pop stars together. Oh gosh, my oh my, the tables have turned. That'd be a sweet tour. People want you guys to go on all tour. Four of us together. Yeah, we should totally. I would love to go on tour with everybody. That'd be so much fun. Just like just dance and sing and watch all the kids have fun with us. That'd be cool. Any message for your fans and why they should tune into season three? Well, I love you guys so much. You guys are seriously the best fans ever. All the reactions you give us are amazing, and we love you so much. And you should totally tune into season three, because not only will we find out about romance and funniness and hilarity and music, it's just it's just fun. It's just so much fun that we have making the show, and we know that you guys enjoy watching it. Well, I hope you enjoy watching it. Um, and yeah, so you guys should totally watch it, because it'll be fun.